Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we bopus. We're talking about artificial intelligence. Don't worry, this will be super simple. No confusing terms, no tech jargon today. Just clear examples and easy explanations. You've probably heard AI many times before. Maybe on social media or in the news. It seems to be everywhere these days. It's in our phones, cars, and even apps. But what really is artificial intelligence? Is it like a robot with a brain? Or is it just clever computer code? And most importantly, how does it actually work? By the end of this video, you'll understand AI in the simplest way possible. We'll explore what it is, how it works, and how it's changing our everyday lives. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's begin our journey into the world of AI. 1. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, or AI, means smart machines. It's when computers can think a little bit. They can learn from experience and make decisions. In simple words, AI is computer learning. Imagine teaching a computer to recognize cats. You show it thousands of cat pictures. Over time, it learns what a cat looks like. That's the basic idea behind AI learning. AI doesn't have emotions or feelings. It doesn't feel happy or sad like humans, but it can make logical decisions very fast. It studies data, finds patterns, and predicts outcomes. For example, YouTube suggesting your next video, it is AI. Netflix recommending your favorite movie, it is AI again. Google Maps finding the fastest route, it is AI too. These small things are all powered by AI learning. So AI isn't a robot taking over the world. It's just a tool that learns from data. It thinks differently, but helps humans in big ways. It's like giving a brain to a computer system. That's what artificial intelligence really means. Two, how AI works. Now let's understand how AI actually works. The process is simple, even though it sounds complex. AI works by learning from data and patterns. Think of it like teaching a child new things. First, AI is given lots of data. It could be pictures, text, numbers, or sounds. Then, it looks for patterns inside that data. It starts to understand what makes things different. For example, it might learn that cats have whiskers, dogs bark, and birds have wings. That's how it learns to recognize each one. After learning, AI starts making predictions. If it sees a new photo, it guesses whether it's a cat or dog. If it's wrong, it learns from that mistake. That's called training and improving. This process repeats thousands of times. Each time, the AI becomes more accurate. That's why AI gets better the more it practices. It's just like humans getting better at a skill. So AI doesn't know everything automatically. It learns slowly, step by step, from examples. The more examples it gets, the smarter it becomes. That's the simple secret of how AI works. Three, natural language processing. Now let's talk about how AI understands language. This is called natural language processing or NLP. It helps computers understand human words and voice. When you talk to Alexa or Siri, that's NLP. When you type a question in chat GPT, that's NLP too. It's how AI reads, understands, and replies to text. NLP breaks sentences into small parts called tokens. It studies grammar, tone, and meaning. Then it figures out what you're asking. Finally, it gives a reply that makes sense. For example, if you say, what's the weather? It understands you're asking for today's forecast. It doesn't feel the weather. It just processes data. NLP is used in chatbots, translators, and virtual assistants. It allows computers to talk like real humans. Without NLP, AI couldn't chat, write, or translate. It's the reason AI can write poems or emails. It learns how humans speak and copies that style. That's how it sounds natural and friendly. NLP connects human communication with machine logic. It's what lets us talk with computers so easily. Generative AI. Now comes the fun part. Generative AI. This type of AI doesn't just analyze data. It actually creates new things from what it learns. You've probably seen AI art or AI stories online. That's all made by generative AI models. 
They learn from millions of pictures or texts. Then, they use that learning to create new ideas. For example, if you type draw a flying dog, AI can create an image instantly. It mixes what it knows about dogs and flying. Then, it generates something brand new. That's why it's called generative. It generates. ChatGPT writing essays or DALI making art all are examples of generative AI in action. It's used by writers, designers, and musicians too. It helps them brainstorm faster and save time. Generative AI can write songs, scripts, and even code. It's like having a creative assistant who never sleeps. But yes, it also raises some questions. Who owns AI-generated art? Is it really original? These are things people are still discussing today. Still, it's an amazing tool when used wisely. It shows that AI isn't just smart, it's creative too. And it's changing how we create things forever. The future of AI? Now let's look ahead. What's next for AI? Artificial intelligence is growing faster every day. It's already in phones, homes, cars, and hospitals. But the best is yet to come. In the future, AI could help cure diseases. It could predict natural disasters before they happen. It could help farmers grow food more efficiently and even teach kids in schools personally and patiently. Self-driving cars will soon be common everywhere. AI doctors will help diagnose illnesses early. It will save lives, ocean resources, might even help clean the planet. But yes, there are real concerns too. Some people fear AI will replace human jobs. That's possible, but it also creates new ones. The key is learning how to work with AI. We shouldn't fear it, we should understand it. AI is a tool. It depends on how we use it. With the right balance, AI can do great things. Humans and AI can work side by side. The future isn't AI versus humans, it's humans and AI together. Our creativity, empathy, and values will lead. I will just make our journey smarter and faster. So let's welcome the future with open minds because the smartest tool in the world still needs the smartest species to guide it. And that's us, humans. So that's the simplest way to understand AI. From learning to talking to creating new ideas. It's not magic, it's data, logic, and creativity. Artificial intelligence isn't the future anymore. It's happening all around us right now. And the more we learn, the better we'll use it. If you found this easy to understand, hit that like button and subscribe for more. We'll keep explaining big ideas in simple ways. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.